This 40-second trading week of 2012 comes to a close with investors selling off stocks after a series of disappointing earnings reports on the 25th anniversary of the 1987 stock market crash on Black Monday. I'm Kristen Bianco and welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap for Friday, October 19, 2012. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 were about even for the week and the Nasdaq ended lower. Crude oil futures are lower this week, trading at around $90.27 per barrel on Friday afternoon. Noon. Gold futures are also down, trading at $1,753.88 an ounce in this afternoon's trading. In notable economic news this week, the Commerce Department said that housing starts increased by 15% during September to a seasonally adjusted 872,000 units. That beat analyst estimates. The new numbers represent the fastest pace of groundbreaking since the summer of 2008. In corporate news, Gannett announced better than expected revenue and higher profit due to strong television advertising revenue from the Olympics and the presidential election, as well as online subscription revenue. Third quarter revenue increased by 3.4% to $1.31 billion, while analysts had expected revenue of $1.29 billion. Net income was higher by $133.1 million, or $0.56 cents per share. That's up from $99.8 million, or $0.41 cents per share, in the same quarter last year. United Health Group announced that profit increased by 23% during the third quarter due to increased enrollment as well as lower spending. Net income increased to $1.56 billion or $1.50 per share. That's up from $1.27 billion or $1.17 per share in the same period of last year. Revenue was up 8%. And an additional 670,000 people were enrolled during the quarter, which was above estimates of 650,000. Johnson & Johnson announced the profit in the third quarter fell by 7% due to higher production and research costs that offset higher sales. Net income was $2.97 billion or $1.05 per share. That's down from $3.2 billion or $1.15 per share in the same period of last year. Revenue was up 6.5% to $17. 0.05 billion, which beat analyst estimates of a dollar and 21 cents per share on revenue of 17.01 billion. Verizon Communications announced the quarterly profit increased by 16 percent due to higher revenue from its data business and iPhone sales. The company said it was on track to meet 2012 goals. Profit for the quarter rose to 1.59 billion, or 56 cents per share. That's up from 1.37 billion or 49 cents per share in the same period of last year. Also, McDonald's announced that profits were below analyst estimates despite higher revenue during the third quarter. The company earned $1.43 per share compared to $1.45 last year, and that was below the estimate of $1.47. Revenue was higher, climbing to $7.2 billion from $7.17 billion. But uh, during this uh, during the same period of last year, but while analysts had expected 7.16 billion, global sales were higher by 1.9 percent, and the company blamed currency pressures for the slower earnings growth. This is the weekly market wrap for Friday, October 19, 2012. Please join us on Monday for the week ahead market report. For PassFail.com, I am Kristen Bianco, taking you behind the ticker.